appreciate that. How's it going? Pat is somebody that I've been um, hanging out with a lot more, and we, we tend to do a lot more social things, like we go to clubs together. You know, we're mingling and hoping that uh, yeah, so we're going to click it, hit it off with uh, somebody who, who can, we can really get along with. I've never experienced, um, you know, a person you know, having that particular face left done to them. But um, it might be a more boost saying, you know, I look a little bit better, feel a little bit better. Um, people see them in a different light. To me, confidence is, is like a currency, which, you know, which um, when I, you know, if I increase it, um, I, you know, it, it just, it pays dividends in everything in my life, you know, just in terms of the way I interact with people and, and um, going out and, and uh, meeting new people. I think that eventually I would like to settle down and get married. That's, you know, that's where I see myself. You know, I just wanted to do something that where I could really improve myself, improve my look, you know, so that I would feel confident. I mean, ultimately, you know, I, I think any uh, plastic surgical procedure uh, is something that you would do for yourself. I mean, you know, first and foremost, you do it, you know, for, for your own self-confidence. He is an unusual facelift patient. A typical average facelift patient is someone who's interested in having rejuvenation, meaning they want to become more young in appearance. He wants to look different. He wants to have this heaviness and this heaviness changed, and so that's what I'm gonna to try to achieve for him. So the first thing I'm gonna do is elevate the skin flap off the back of the ear. I think the key to getting a good result is you got to completely free up the neck uh, and the cheek skin. It is possible to keep piece of kneeling away and getting this all, but since we're making the anterior incision anyways, I'm gonna stop there and make the incision in front too. Now we're looking way down his neck. Underneath here is the parotid gland and underneath that is the facial nerve. A facial nerve injury is a potentially devastating problem for a patient. What I'm doing now is I'm elevating his neck, uh, which is the last part. And it's often quite challenging, especially uh, in someone like him who's got a very long neck. I've now elevated everything. You can basically put the hand right underneath the neck, right to the clavicles. Same thing with the cheeks, all the way to there, it's elevated. And that'll allow us to um, do whatever is required to the internal structures, and then the skin will redrape on top of that. So here, he's got a, a fairly significant pocket of fatty tissue right in the middle of his neck, right here. And I will do some liposuction, but I'm also going to excise some of it directly. There we go. This is what I've removed from right then, that central neck right there. And I'm not removing a huge amount of fatty tissue either. This is mostly just for contouring. You need to remove really just a matter of uh, several grams usually. There's now a, a gap in between the muscles in the central neck. And I'm now gonna tighten those together uh, to fill up that space that I created when I took away that fat. This is called a corset suture. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna tighten the entire neck from here to here, right across the middle. Yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, place a suture into this tissue here. Is that it there? As you can see what that's doing there. That's, uh, I'm going to uh, elevate this cheek, give him, take this, put it here, basically. So now I'm just gonna suture this in position here like so. Okay, so the final insetting of all this is to just tailor off a little of these little bits of skin that are hanging over the edges. And uh, when it heals up, he should have uh, virtually nothing in the way of a visible scar. I decided to tell the soccer team that I was, uh, was going to do this because I told a, f a couple of guys there and they're like, oh, you're crazy, you don't need to do it. But um, I feel like I need to do it. I know that he's getting liposuction, he told me. I don't think he needs it. I think why he's getting his this done is because uh, the most important reason is because of the modeling, the acting business. He started getting a little bit of weight, and now he wants to work out, but he wants the easy way out. It's always has to do with women, because, it, you know, guys, they, they always want to impress girls. I was in the relationship for four and a half years, so just decided to go each other's way. 
It's important for me getting married and have a life, but uh, not anytime soon. Not anytime soon. I gotta enjoy my life for now and uh, first try to reach my goals. I like to take chances in life, so this is just another chance for me. Just another battle that I gotta go through. Monday when I wake up, I hope to see a smaller stomach. So we'll see. Hope that everything goes good. Everything should be fine. I have faith on that. This is the main area between these two lines here. This is just to feather it a little, because there's very little fat up above. This is where we're going to go, OK? And we start by putting in a solution of salt water with some local anesthetic and epinephrine or adrenaline. It helps to break up the fat and makes it a little easier to extract. And the epinephrine cuts down on the uh, bleeding. And the important thing is not to stay in just one direction all the time, but to fan it out so that we don't get too many grooves and ridges. So we just keep going like this until we can feel that the uh, skin and the fat are pretty well separated and the skin itself is, uh, feels much thinner. Now at times, and you can see we're doing it here, we can use two machines so that two surgeons are working on different sides of the body. And this has, first of all, it makes the operation quicker and that's important for the patient's health and safety. Yeah, we're getting near the end and uh, one way of judging this is that we can lift up the skin, which we couldn't do before because there was so much fat holding it. So I think we'll just close up and, um, and call it a day. So what we do now, we put on um, the dressing and the binder. Yeah, very good. And uh, he'll wake up and he'll be a little uncomfortable, but I think uh, the long-term result is going to be fine. As long as you're you got good looking and you got a nice body, you got your six pack, you know, you can take off your shirt. I think that's the, the ideal man out there. Uh, these past few days, I've just been sitting at home. I went to the bar a few times, uh, walking, basically doing my regular life. I can't really tell that I have pain, just a little tingling on the sides, but it's, it's not even pain, to be honest. Like, I don't feel nothing. And I'm me, I'm not calling. Now, hopefully, within a few weeks, I'll be ready to see my <laughs> six pack again. Take a ball, take a ball. We get two ball, take well, it's been, I would say, about two months since I did my surgery. The liposuction was, uh, was a good thing. My stomach now, the difference from now and before, now, well, it's, it's flatter. You can actually start to see the six-pack coming back. My mother's reaction to my new stomach, she was happy for me and she was just amazed how things went and that I'm still alive. My brother and my, my mother, like, they're, they had to go to Portugal to take care of some problems and visit the family and stuff like that. One day I want to go back there just to live the rest of my life, I guess. Just go there for good. Right now, my goal is trying to get into this industry, which is very tough. I want to see myself in Hollywood, you know, live down by Beverly Hills, and see myself on the big screens and on the cover of the magazines. I've gone to, to a couple of auditions since I did my liposuction, and uh, they're actually working out. As long as you're like, good looking and you got a nice body, you got your six pack, you know, you can take off your shirt. I think that's the, the ideal man out there. Some of my friends, they're kind of, they're happy. They say, you know, you look skinnier, this and that. The results of Paul, they're pretty good. I was surprised myself. 
He's been working out harder, been cutting out most of the stuff that he was doing wrong. Now he's doing this healthy stuff, so I'm happy for him. You know, we talk to girls. I think they appreciate you more if you look good than not caring about yourself. Much more confident when he, he goes up to talk to a girl. He's more confident that he's not going to get the boot than, you know, like than most of the times. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy to, to do what I did, go through what I went. Just a few days after the surgery, my, uh, my mom passed away. That did put a damper on things, you know, because I was quite enthusiastic about the surgery uh, and uh, any sort of self-improvement I would want to do at that point is um, really belittled, I, I would say, you know. You know, I was actually in mourning, yet people were coming and saying, hey, you look great, you know. And I'm like, really? Okay, you know. I think she would like it. I think she, she would have been uh, really happy. This is just basically, again, it's from the swelling. It will definitely go away. It goes away after, you know, it might take like a couple of months or something. His face seems to be a lot more balanced now. Before it was a little bit, you know, to one side. And, you know, if you got a more balanced face, you know, you look a little bit more pleasing to the opposite sex. I am more confident. Uh, I'm more um, outgoing. I tend to, you know, be more aggressive in terms of uh, when I talk to people. When you do it for yourself, then it reflects on how you interact with others, and therefore it does improve what's on the inside. It changes your attitude, it changes the way you walk, talk, the way you interact with people. I'm very happy with the results, and I'm, I'm just uh, ecstatic with having done that.